Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Goddess. I've been running around collecting my belief. Oh, there's one. <laughs> and uh, we've since we've got a whole bunch of cabins now, the belief really stacks up. So I just swooped all of this up and we went over the 11k mark here or to it or something like that. But um, yeah, so we have a lot of belief. Now what we want to do is get the settlement. And as you may recall, the settlement allows us to choose a plot and then all of the nearby belief actually gets kind of pulled into it. So we only have to click one place instead of doing things like this. So that's gonna be really cool. Now to unlock this, it gets unlocked in the primitive age and that's where we are at now. But here is the settlement card. So we do need another stone i think <laughs> i forgot exactly what that is and we need one of our two of these and i'm not exactly sure what that is it's gray triangle with white <laughs> it's something it's some kind of resource so that we're going to be kind of hunting resources a bit and we've got another guy here that is just about done we've got to gather whatever this here is in the middle i'm not sure uh, if i click that the card gets smaller and if i try to right click it nothing happens so I can't really tell what that is, but we'll find out. So that's going to be one of the big goals, I think, this time around is to uh, gather resources. And in order to do that, we need to go hunting. <laughs> so we've got some things we can turn up. We've got some kind of object here. We're going to be keeping an eye out for this kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and actually get this right now. Oops, going the wrong way there. Kind of dial this back. What do we get? Okay, so we got some timber. That's cool. Not exactly what we were hoping for, but that's fine. So I think we're just going to kind of skim along here. Let's look for anything obvious. We'll look for the confetti-like stuff floating around. Here's one of these guys. Looks like we might have a couple around here. Mo Timba. Okay, it looks like there might be something buried back here. Hidden away under the rocks. Try to make a hole down here. I'm just kind of spam right clicking again, making a pit. Boy, how far down is this thing? Almost, maybe? Come on. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, he's down there a bit. What about this one? Maybe this one's easier to access right off the bat. <laughs> there was a plot and we erase it. Ha <laughs> ha, no. Get down there. Boy, this stuff is buried. Here we go. Almost there. There we go. Aha! Stone, and that's what we need there. That's cool. So that finishes that out. I'd really like to get some new resources going on, but that just doesn't seem to be happening. Now, there is a wolf running around here. In fact, there's a second wolf. And I don't really know like what's up with those. Oh, that cost me some faith some belief points five at a time he like ran away I, I don't know if I just killed him or if he just disappeared <laughs> let's spam okay so maybe that kills them they disappear but it takes some of your belief interesting well now I'm really sure that they are bad for you they're bad for your health or at least the health of your followers so we've got uh, let's see we've got this guy here was this the only kind of treasure I hear people dying nearby <laughs> Kind of see if we can get down to this real quick. There we go. Yeah, see, once you see the top, it's just not good enough. Can't click it. You must go deeper. All right, feel like I already made that joke before. <laughs> there we go. Flint. It's flint. Okay, excellent. Now we know. That's cool. So we just need one more of those. One more flint till we get a settlement. Okay, well. I think we've got a couple more of these guys laying around here. Uh, a couple more that we can get access to. In fact, three right there. Maybe a fourth, a fifth. Boy, they're all over the place. Plus, we've got some other things we need the, to get our uh, followers running after. But for now, I'm just going to continue this. I'm going to go through and gather these guys up. Ooh, nice. Our flint we need. Well, that was quick. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, cool. So settlement, there we go. It's unlocked. Let's go do this thing. Kind of back all the way back down here. Excellent. Now, let's see. Can I just click on a pre-existing one? I'm not really sure. Uh, what does this say? 
Click on a plot. Okay, so I think it will work just clicking on one that's pre-existing. And I think this one is kind of middle-ish, but maybe we'll go with this guy. Yeah, we'll do this one. Let's do this. Ha ha! Okay, so now the belief. Is the belief going to go anywhere? Ah, the bubble's getting bigger. Excellent. Yes, and they're disappearing. Oh, that's going to make things a whole lot easier. And we'll just have to see how far it reaches. I did get out to here. I think the roads are an indicator, and it does look like they're getting out here. So, yeah, I think these are pretty close. So we may end up dropping one, you know, right over here somewhere. Something like that. And uh, let me think about that. Do we want to do that now? Yeah. Oh, look at that. The settlement gets more expensive. Hmm. I thought it was going to be 2000 a pop. Apparently not. Well, we're going to have to gather some of this up. Let's see what this guy's worth here. Ooh, big chunk. I don't know. That might be worth it to put it down. But in the meantime, I think we're going to go all the way back here. And I'm going to go ahead and gather these like I was about to do. So we'll get all these cards scooped up and see where we're at after that. Okay, well, as you can see, our roads have been more clearly defined with time, I guess. So that's cool. It looks very much like a circuit board, right? <laughs> Computer. But uh, the other thing you may notice, I've burned through a whole lot of belief. I gathered up a bunch of resources, so that was good. Um, it obviously, it cost a lot of belief, but we got some good cards that we needed. So there's kind of potholes all over the place. Now, one of the things that's over here is a shrine. When I right click it, it says a shrine of expansion. So I think that's going to be the next goal is to get my people out here to this because I just have a feeling that maybe if they get that, and you know, our area will expand by quite a bit. Or maybe it's the same as getting a card, but without actually having to get the card. But. Anyway, we'll send some people up there. In fact, here shortly, let's see what we can do with it. Uh, we don't have any people out, I don't think, so we're going to go ahead and place the totem here. And that does, let's see, that should activate it. And we'll go ahead and kick one of these guys out here. Yep. So they'll go check that out. And let's see. I'm trying to think if we want to kind of clean out some area over here for plots. I'm thinking not because uh, the people really like to be in, uh, near the, or actually was it desert? Desert and stone, right? <laughs> Something along those lines. If we jump back in here and look at our uh, commandments. Let's see, whoops. Go ahead and skip that one. So the deserts and shores, that's what we're looking for. So this doesn't help too much. Now, it does say that trees are to be respected, so maybe it helps to uh, set their homes up near trees. But um, for now, I want to try and keep them on the sand and near water. So I think uh, most of our expansion is going to be down here. That might be the next kind of thing we focus on so we gather up some more belief. And then we can drop another shrine in. Now, one of the things I think we'll look at here is see just how far does this shrine reach. Okay, so it it essentially reaches what the screen can see. Maybe a little less, right? It doesn't get all the way to the edges. So if we keep that in mind, we can kind of move up here to right in here and say if we can expand this area out, uh, then one shrine will cover everything we see in here. Now... If I move it up here, maybe this is actually the better place to go because there's more shallow territory within this much screen than there is down here. Mostly because it kind of folds over here on the left. So maybe that's what we'll do is we'll kind of expand out from this area. This this here would be the center where, where we could end up putting the shrine. So do we start with that? How do we get going here? Now we can go in and start kind of mass left clicking <laughs> and uh, raise the terrain. And that's something we'll kind of get started here shortly. But in the meantime, let's actually cruise right back up here. I want to see if there's anything going on here. So it does have a timer counting down. And I'm not sure if that has something to do with having sent my uh, guy up here. I think she's in there. Did I just see that? Thought I saw, yeah, is that the head clipping through? Okay, so she's there doing her thing. We do have a timer ticking down, so we're going to have to wait for that. That is going to get us three gems, it looks like. Now, that's something I saw somebody comment about before. We have the upgrade store here. It's coming in time. It'll be here eventually. But 
apparently you'll be earning gems in game. I'm not entirely sure that you'll actually even be able to buy them. Um, I don't know if people are assuming that or if that's been stated. I haven't looked into that fully. My assumption was you'd be able to buy them, but I thought I saw people discussing uh, as fact the idea that there wouldn't uh, you wouldn't be able to purchase them with actual cash. But who knows? If you guys know for sure, let me know in the comments. I definitely would. Definitely am interested to know that, as I'm sure a number of you are as well. Okay, let's go back up here one more time just to make sure. Okay, so we are counting down. we got 13 minutes left. Okay, so what we're going to do in the meantime is start raising up, I think, for the next 12 minutes or so. We'll uh, get this terrain raised up as best we can and uh, see once that shrine has kind of had its timer tick down what that does for us. So much filling of land. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of plots going on here, which is great. And our shrine just kind of made a noise up here. So it looks like we have a card. Let's go ahead and click that thing. So it does just give you an expansion card. Interesting. So we'll have some more territory here. Okay. Very cool. And we've got the next kind of temple here. It says multiplayer temple. Temple of multiplayer. What did this one say down here? Temple of Battles. Hmm, what could the difference be? Okay, so let's take a peek here because I haven't gone. So we got a whole lot of mountains up here, which would be great if our people liked mountains. <laughs> right now, not so much. Temple of Fertility. Okay, I assume that's going to help with population. And a whole lot of mountains. Shrine of Power. Excellent, okay. It'd be nice if you had some control over kind of the area in which you spread out. It looks like this had something to do with the shrine, right? It kind of rounded out from here. Um, but it'd be nice to be able to kind of take a card, for example, and then put it where you wanted, like come down and say, oh, right here, boop, and it would just kind of expand out into this area. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, but in the meantime, it looks like we do have a good number of uh, things to pick up. We got some treasures and everything. And we have a guy here already, so we could move them up to that temple. But I think what I want to do instead is get uh, some people building out these plots. Because I really want to get another settlement out here. We need much more belief. I burned through a lot of it. You can see we're down, down to 1300 now, uh, kind of leveling this area out. So I want to make up for that. We'll go ahead and kick this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Let's get these guys to work here. And yeah, that should be good enough for now. We cruise back up here. Uh, okay, I thought that maybe I would move this person up here by moving the totem, but no, we're not going to do that. Actually, yeah, I just realized they want to go towards the totem. Let's deactivate the totem. <laughs> and what are these guys? So they're gonna they're gonna go build these plots. I wonder if I can kind of take these out. I don't want you building up here. <laughs> no. Destroy the cabin. Destroy this way. Will it not do it? it? Won't do it while it's in progress, I guess. It's unfortunate. Let me make sure this one doesn't get made. Do we have any more? Yeah. Okay. I gotta keep them focused, right? <laughs> focused on where I want them. Okay, cool. So we've got them building down here. Like I said, we'll probably, you know, if we kind of center here, we'll end up putting the shrine maybe on this uh, cabin right here. So we'll go ahead and kick somebody else out here. And uh, that should help. It'd be nice to fill in over to the left and right. But boy, I blew through a lot of belief trying to make that happen. So looks like we got a good chunk here. Let's see, we're at 414. Okay, so that gave us about 2600, 2610 or so. Not bad. I really do want to pop another one down, but we're going to have to gather up a bunch more belief. Once we get uh, this area established and I've got all of these cabins filled in, I think that's the point at which we will move the totem up to this temple and activate it. Or maybe we don't need to. Looks like she's up here doing her thing. We do have a 43-minute countdown on that, so I guess I don't need to get anybody else up here. Although I am curious, does it go down faster with more people? Hmm. I will experiment with that once we get these cabins set up down here. More expanding has been done, but this time around I decided to do it down here where I already had the settlement kind of 
smart, right? Weem using his brain. <laughs> I was like, you know, I should add down here. I've already got a settlement. So kind of added to the outskirts down here. I added a few more up top. And we could probably go a little bit further with that. But for now, we're going to hold off. We've expanded some of the territory up here. We have some uh, more cabins made. But I do want to get some people up. Uh, up to this, uh, what is it, temple? Because I want to experiment. Now, right now, it's ticking down a little faster than, um, well, you know, a little faster than one second per second on this timer. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the totem to here, and I want to send some people up here. Now, I think that's going to pretty much grab people that are out if I if they're bored and I click them at least, and maybe some from down here. Now, it looks like they're all done. So, we're going to grab some of the closest people. And go ahead and send them to the totem. At least that's where they should go. I thought. I guess we have to activate it. I thought it was activated. So anyway, we're going to do that because I want to experiment. I want to see if it makes the timer go fast, faster if you get more people on it. So we will let them run up there. And then what we may do once they do that and that experiment is done, we may have them kind of move on over and scoop up this guy just run over and get this thing started the timer's not going anywhere i'm assuming because my people aren't on it yet we can see them kind of moving their way up over here got the kind of crazy redhead one in there so we definitely have mixed our peoples a bit that's cool so let's see again we've got yeah a little faster than one second per second on here let's see if this changes now we do have two people here now we got three more about to join in here. Help has arrived. Let's get this thing cracking. I'm assuming this is going to go faster. That's my guess, but we'll see. We'll let this last one kind of get in there. You going to do anything or are you just going to stand there? <laughs> okay, so there he goes. Let's go ahead and look at this. Yeah, definitely going faster. So that's cool. More people, more faster. Good to know. So, like I said, once that's done, we'll send them this way. Let's get rid of this wolf if we can. Kind of hiding back here. There we go. I don't want him to jump the guys when I send them on this way. Now, I did go through and I gathered a whole bunch more uh, resources as well. And we had a new card pop up, so let's take a look at that. It was calendar. So we already had a bunch of kindling that filled that out. We had three candles so that popped in there. We've got this one no idea what that is so once we kind of finish this we'll get the calendar card and when you click it it actually tells us that it leads to who knows what now we do have a day night cycle unlocked that's going to be the effect of the calendar but we don't know what it's going to eventually lead to i suppose the effect is what i was really curious about so day night cycle that's cool but we don't know what that's going to get us down the road so let's go ahead and close that out now let's see we have the lodgings too that we're almost done now this ended up being plaster by the way so we do have two out of the three there just need one more plaster so this would get us our abodes <laughs> i was reading as adobes so this will get us rank three abodes so that's cool um at that point we may end up breaking down some of the buildings and having them rebuilt as rank three because that will that will help and it's faster then uh, trying to spread out some land to kind of fill. Now what I ended up doing was I was kind of filling this in. And I thought, you know, this is kind of close enough to shore here. So I cleared out some trees, uh, leaving some others, and put some plots here. And you can see I've got some more along here. I figure, you know, it's close to the shore, right? <laughs> Should be good. So those are kind of the next places that we'll fill in. We got a couple more here. Now we obviously have a lot to, of belief to gather in order to get us to the 7500 for the next settlement, which would be very nice. Let's kind of pan back up here and see where we're at. We got five minutes on this. Of course, that's less than five minutes, probably a cup, just a couple minutes. So we'll let that kind of go. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in with that when it's done. Okay, you can see this is ticking down the final second, so that's going to finish up here. Go ahead and let that go, and then we'll move the totem, like I said. So let's see here. This finishes. What did we get? Nothing. Okay, so that's going to be... It's going to go into multiplayer something. <laughs> and it brings up my friends list. Excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring these guys over here. 
So we're gonna move the totem to here. Ta-da! So they're gonna start moving over there, that's cool. And uh, let's see, what else is going on? We've got a number of other things around here to scoop up as well. An expansion, shrine. Oh, and we have this material too. I think this is actually where I'm gonna send them next because I wanna know what that is, so they're gonna go figure that out for me. <laughs> Actually, we can grab this guy right here. Is he sticking out just enough? No? Hmm. Ooh, you moved a little bit. Some more kindling doesn't help us immediately. Let's see. Did they get over here safely? Oh, that's funny. They ran through. I guess that kind of makes sense. Ah, kill the wolf. <laughs> I thought I wasn't sure if they would run through the uncontrolled territory, but I guess that kind of makes sense. I thought they might run around it, but... Okay, what's the timer on this thing looking like? Is it going to get started or what? No? Maybe they need some time on that? Some time alone. You know, I wonder if it's buried or something? Hmm. Let's go ahead and dig this out. Yeah, that might have been it. <laughs> they just, they, they all just eat it. Face plants when I did that. Yes, yeah, so we had to uncover that. That's fine. Uh, hmm. That was quick. So that just expands us again. Opens up a whole lot more area. Now, you can see the ground here is a little spotty. And so this I read a little bit about. This is terrain that our people just don't like. They're not going to want to live there. I don't, I'm don't. i assuming that they'll walk through it. I don't know if it'll cause damage if they do. But um, that's something that we can clean up with the Beautify ability, I think it's called. Beautify. So that's 5,000. Looks like we do have the Statue of Speed, but... I'm not too excited about that. They move faster. Yeah, that's fine. What I'm really wanting right now is the settlement. So we'll get to the beautify later, uh, and we'll check this real quick. Power shrine. Okay, so right now we've got the active totem here. I do want them to kind of come back. I don't think I'm going to move them yet. Or maybe we will. Hmm, where'd the other one go? I guess I could move the totem up here. Let's go ahead and do that. Move here. And we'll just check the path real quick. Make sure I don't see any obvious wolves. Doesn't look like it. And I just noticed that this is just about visible. So we'll go ahead and grab this real quick. Cool. Another resource. I've got a few of those now. Not, We're not really needing those for anything yet. But I'm sure we will. Let's go ahead and pan back here. I think we're going to go ahead and call it at that. We'll let the... We'll let our people run over to that shrine. Uh, I guess I should make sure it doesn't need to be <laughs> dug out as well. Hmm, it looks like it'll be okay, but yeah, we'll dig it out just in case. So we'll let them go ahead and gather that up. Um, in the meantime, we're going to maybe expand some more of the territory. I'm going to gather up a bunch of belief. And uh, yeah, we're working towards getting the next settlement. Looks like we've got some kind of weird thing running up top. I just noticed something about being connected here, but... Uh, <laughs> I was like, what is that? It was an error or something. Anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and call it that. Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Leave this video a like if you like it. Leave me a comment if you got anything to say about the game, if you've been playing. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time.